adolescent women aged 15 to 19 years make up just over one-fifth of the female population in Kenya, and they account for 14% of all births. But almost two-thirds, which is 63% of pregnancies among adolescents in Kenya, are unintended, and 35% of those unintended pregnancies end in abortion, with teenage pregnancies and motherhood prevalence hitting 18%. Kisumu County has once again featured among the top with high prevalence of teen pregnancies at 11,015 from January 2020 to September 2021. I traveled to Kisumu to find out what could be the problem facing reproductive health among the youth. From the just released report on teenage pregnancies, HIV and STIs, gender-based violence, young people and adolescents still bear the highest burden of death from HIV-related conditions because of the burden of stigma and lack of access to reproductive services that comes with that age category. I maybe I doubt kuna effects. Alafu pia kuna venye mimi naweza ogopa juu naweza pata agenda si yangu sasa huwa na deal na agenda sasa nikipata kama agenda ni boy na nafaa kunifanya nini search na find it difficult ku access hiyo service sasa itabidi nimerudi ili next time nikirudi nipate ama if possible watafute female mwenye anaweza ni access but si chat Sometimes you go to the facility and you know the kind of look you get from the service providers make you shy away from getting the services until you had to pretend that you know I was just uh, wanting to know about family plan. But it takes someone to you know take have that courage to access such services. So many youth are not willing to go to like the general uh, public facilities because of matters such as confidentiality. There there hasn't been that uh, threshold where it, 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 it where we can say that it, 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 it has now qualified to admit young people so uh, regarding information it's also the same thing we need to staff these uh, youth friendly centers with this kind of information so that it's very easy I know we have model youth friendly centers around the, 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 the sub counties and uh, some of them are now defunct, they're not working because there wasn't that will to just push them. It was more of, let us have this and show people that we did this, you know. But it hasn't reached the place where we can say, yeah, now we can point to it and say, now we can really make use of these facilities. So it's about the way you deliver information and the way, um, you know, when you give out an information, you expect a feedback. So maybe there could be a gap. Uh, maybe in terms of age, in terms of uh, you know the the catchment where uh, these young people are coming from, so there are a lot of factors that may bring about the the bridge. So that maybe that's why they are talking about. It is disputable that the other driver of teenage pregnancies in Kisumu County is sexual and gender-based violence, where 1,114 cases of the same were reported in 2018, according to the latest United Nations estimates of the world's population. Between January 2020 and September 2021, Kisumu County had recorded 11,000 teenage pregnancies in total according to the latest ending multiple threat reports. So why is HIV prevalence and teenage pregnancies among young people in Kisumu County persistently high? Okay, in Obonga, uh, as per my observation, ni ukiangalia walevi wengi ni vijana. Okay, um, that's uh, basically your drug abuse. Most of the youths are condani. Then um, it's good, no, no, majority one in the school, eh? Yeah, it's good. But PA, you're drug into the school. I have had uh, interaction with young people. Uh, we have had focus group discussion. And what has come out clearly from this group discussion is that uh, parents. Parents have failed the young people. Parents have no time for the young people. And parents are busy looking for money. They are busy looking for money. 
that means they have left the young people under the care of the house girls, the teachers, maybe the church, etc. So the young people raised the challenge that they need to have these parents getting to understand them or people they can talk to. So that is one of the major challenges actually they cited. Eh? Though health is a devolved function and failure by the county government, Kisumu County being one of them to domesticate and implement the policies together with other national regulations, hinders the realization of the gains envisaged in the 2015 policy. Lavenda Akoth, a young adolescent living in Sega Sega Obunga Slum of Kisumu County, gives reasons. <laughs> Shida ni kuengage ni yani ku kuendana na group as in unafuata team na kujui effect za hiyo team inakaaje so unajikuta yani conviction unakuwa convinced mm -hmm. na mtu tu mmoja alafu unajikuta umeingia kwa group mbaya which may lead you to kujikuta na shida hizi za ku ku abuse yani kufanya vitu zenye azini in terms of policy, I think we have to appreciate that there, there are gaps. And that gap, those gaps existing is what makes us really to work hard to bridge these gaps. Now, these gaps exist across the board at the county level, at the sub-county level, uh, and even at the community level. The gap that we have so wide, uh, to me, is the gap to have meaningful engagement of the youths in the community level. While the National Adolescent and Youth Survey of 2015 indicates that the youth in Kisumu County suffer five severe health threats including sexual transmitted infections, HIV and AIDS, drug and substance abuse, teenage pregnancy and gender-based violence, Jackton Okeo, the county's adolescent and youth coordinator, acknowledges the risk associated with inadequate access to sexual health care services, which jeopardizes progressive growth and maturity of the youth and adolescent in Kisumu County. So when you dwell so much and spend resources on policies, documents, while the youths of the young people cannot get engaged meaningfully at the community level to talk about those challenges, to change their attitude and the way they are looking th at things. Uh, this is the biggest challenges I'm facing. Because I sat down with the young people involved in pushing for inclusion of youth and adolescent reproductive health services in Kisumu County, Yvonne Miyawa and Nelson Oyimbi from the Network for Adolescent and Youth of Africa Naya Kenya to identify why it's important to have a seat at the table with the county government officials. So my role as a youth advocate, I've been able to interact with most of these uh, work groups and it's been a wonderful experience until now. Having youth uh, speak about uh, what matters to them in the, in the uh, SRHR is a good thing because you kind of get to, to understand where the, the argument comes from, you know. You get the contribution meaningfully from them and it's, it's, it's always a wonderful experience to see this input come to pass. Mm -hmm. uh, it has really been a good experience, uh, especially you know, in Kisumu where we have teenage pregnancy at high and uh, working with Naya has really you know, exposed us and given us information. Uh, we've really done our memos and, and, and uh, submitted papers to our leaders uh, uh, just to give recommendations on what we as young people want them to do for us. Uh, we've been engaged uh, through budget advocacy, which has really been a good process, especially to us young people, because it's a new aspect that we had to venture into, especially me. Like in Kisumu, there's no, I mean, there's the, the, the organization that is focusing on budget, it's only Naya and media. Though Kenya is among the best countries in the world, in terms of policies, implementation has been a challenge with budget deficits in Kisumu County in the Department of Health. And we've been doing outreach, but out of the allocation, the amount still allocated to the adolescents is just a fraction in Kaloleni in Kibos. 
is a small one. The allocation in the fiscal year of 2020-2021 was 60.1 million shillings for reproductive, maternal, neonatal, child and adolescent health. There was no specific amount allocated for sexual reproductive health in Kisumu County, while 57 million shillings went to recurrent expenditure. So what we are doing at this level that we have not made us reach adolescent the allocation for adolescent to for meaningful youth engagement is consumed the amount is consumed on maternal because you need to prevent maternal mortalities mm. morbidity mm. newborn they are more vulnerable than adolescent experiences from the young people collected and uh, evidence uh, coming from the media is that young people do not feel comfortable going into the clinics we talk about youth-friendly services, but when we collect uh, lived realities of these young people, we feel and we actually can substantiate that this is not happening. The service providers do not have adequate skills to better understand what this young person coming to the clinic really wants. In the same county of Kisumu, 95.8% which amounts to 57.6 million shillings of the 61.1 million shillings allocated for reproductive maternal, neonatal, child and adolescent health in the 2020-2021 budget is marked as grants. Straight News has learned that the county government of Kisumu is directly committing only 2.5 million shillings of its money to the reproductive maternal, neonatal and adolescent health for full year. This is less than 5% of the budget allocated. You see this? So, so where do you take your resources for, for vulner you, you, regarding vulnerability? Is it adolescent? Or, or the mothers who may car, newborn, child, premature labor, or what have you. So these are the challenges that we are having. So the little amount I remember, we have engaged the youths across SEME. Eh? Right now, the uh, World Bank is supporting a program called uh, VMG, Vulnerable and Marginalized Group. We have also learned that the county government of Kisumu does not have a health sector plan with details on serving the adolescent and youth's reproductive health needs with matching budgetary projections. So the model we are developing now, which will be ready, is that we don't need to let adolescent seek health in the facility, but we reach adolescent with health. How? Yes. So it's going to happen, and that is what we call family health approach. Nine counties contributed to 56% of the total teenage pregnancies among adolescents aged 10 to 14 years, according to the latest report released this week. I really want the government to invest more on family planning and also to have young people at the center. Uh, if we can have you know, a, a center that we can just have young people to plan and, and give their views to the government on how we want the commodities to be delivered. Because at times you find that we have the commodities, but accessing the commodities, at times uh, the government says that the commodities are there, but they kind of, you know, they, they, they're not being used. Uh, because of you know we don't we don't get that information at the grassroots. So what I really would want, uh, if, if the government can also invest, you know, in information to young people, so that young people can get information at the grassroots level. This has seen fewer engagement of youth in reproductive health sector, a program dubbed right here right now has been introduced to empower young people to make informed decisions about their sexuality as well as voice their needs and claim their right to relevant health and one of the ways we are trying to uh, solve this is to train the young the health service providers on how best to treat a young person living with disability a young and sexual gender minority so that they do not feel discriminated they do not feel victimized Another way we are trying to come up to solve this is by uh, equipping young people with skills to better lobby for themselves and advocate for themselves. We give them the skills and training required for them to stand in a 
public participation, develop policy briefs, budget memorandums, and basically to how to best uh, capture their voices. It is imperative for the country to embrace human-centered design approach to better address this issue in addressing sexual and reproductive health needs of adolescents. Right here, right now, brings together players from the public sector, including Ministry of Health, Education, Youth, Gender, Communication, Planning, Finance, and various NGOs and media outlets to support young people. The community level role cannot be overemphasized in the fight against teenage pregnancies and letting girls remain girls and not mothers. Story sponsored by Naya. For Straight News TV, I'm Odi Francis.